the smell finally hit me and I was like this is not water this is pee somebody peed on my computer Love. So today is a very, really, very, really excited day for me. Um, I might be going to pick up my car title. Well, I mean, it's whatever. It's like um, my second car, my first car. It's a long story. And it is 10:14. I actually cracked my phone a little bit, so I have to take it to Apple. You can't really see it. Yeah, it's like really, really faint. You can barely see it. So I have to take it to Apple. Um, don't mind me. I look horrible. I just woke up. Um, I have to go put my face on, and we'll see how the day goes. Woohoo! Okay, so um, I put in a little mascara, but um, the lady from Mac, she actually gave me a type of mascara that she said is really good for my lashes because my lashes are kind of curled back. And I remember um, for prom, I she was um, the lady that was doing my makeup. I got my makeup done from Sephora that one time because Mac was full, so she was having trouble really putting on the bras. The I mean, bra, the lashes. So it was, yeah. So she struggled a bit with that. And so um, I got the text that I can come in today. So it's about a 35 to 40 minute drive from where I am right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, head up there. Put the music down because of copyright issues. But um, I'm really on my way. Um, it is, well... 11:10, as you can see and yep it's a long drive so I am currently at the dealership I think they're, they're really busy right now today so um, I have to wait for the guy to finish I don't know he's with somebody in there so I have to I thought I was just gonna come pick it up and then go because they already had it but so I'm still waiting I got here at around 12 20 it's 12:32. Um, I might go ahead and get something to eat and then come back because I haven't ate all day. So, um, I'm just going to wait about 10 more minutes and see if they're ready then. And then I'm going to go ahead and get something to eat. So, I'm at TD Bank right now because I thought I had already paid for everything when I bought the car. But I have to pay. I did sign the title, but I have to pay for, um, the new tag because I have a tape tag right now. But um, I only have my ID with me, so because I don't bring my wallet or my debit card anywhere because I have Apple Pay, so I just use Apple Pay everywhere I go. Um, and my ID, I just leave it in the car. So TD Bank won't let me withdraw any money without my um, debit card. Mind you, it's a 47 minutes back down to get my debit card. And then I have to drive 47 minutes back up here to get the title and the tag. And I have to drive 47 minutes back down. Actually, further, I have to go further down south because I have to go down to Delray to pick up some of my mails. So um, I'm not sure if I'll do this today because maybe Monday because tomorrow Sunday I have to go to church and after church I have some something else to do so um almost likely get this done Tuesday okay guys so I'm back I got my debit card but I'm not sure if I'm gonna drive all the way back up there um that's my alarm it keeps going off every time I open the door um something's wrong with it and so I felt so sleepy during that drive. Um, I haven't ate all day. So I'm going to go ahead and get something to eat. And if you're going to drive, just maybe because I haven't ate. That's why I felt so sleepy. Okay, so I, I just got gas and I came straight to the array. I'm now getting something to eat on my KFC 337. So I'm in line right now, as you can see. Yes. And then you want no cheese. No cheese, yes. Got it. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, what was your drink? Um, a lemonade, please. It's gonna be 36 extra, that's fine? Yes, that's fine. 5 dollars thank you. Thank you. 
this is what I got. I always get the mashed potato. Um, it's called the famous bowl. I get extra mash, extra gravy, extra corn, and no cheese. And I always ask them to put the popcorn chicken on the side. I don't know why this is so um, blurry. And of course, I got my lemonade, and their lemonade is really, really, really good. So, um, oh, don't mind this. This is, I went to get an oil change, and it was, it cost $120. All my friends told me that, um, they ripped me off because it shouldn't be that much, but I fell for it because he told me that, um, it was for 10,000 miles. So, that's why I had went ahead and got it, but, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat first. Um, I don't even know if I'm. So I usually don't like the popcorn chicken that much, but this popcorn chicken is delicious. Not only do I love coming to that certain KFC because they give me exactly what I want and how I want it, but the lemonade is delicious. The popcorn is delicious. I mean, I don't know. It's just yeah it's good it's really good so um my phone just keeps okay I don't know if you guys can see that um let's see if it can focus okay no it went away okay but every time I like press something I go to click on something it says oh there it is I don't know why it keeps doing that but every single time I click on something so here I turn it off and I'm turning it back on and okay click on something yeah I and there's nothing plugged in um I don't know if it's because of the crack I don't, so um yeah yeah I'm not sure why it's doing that so okay so I was driving and oh my god I ate I feel so I don't know I just okay so I just got an email that I have to do a runway video and send it to um it's not from one of my one of my agents it's something else in Miami like um a fashion show so um that's why I changed I'm wearing a black tank top now so um I'm I have my camera set up so I can do the video and everything and send it to them tonight I was gonna go to the park um, it's a really big park it's like a nature like park and I was gonna do it from there but by the time I get there it's gonna be really really dark okay, so um, I made this vlog Sunday and I know in the last second of the vlog um, I know I mentioned to you guys that um, I had to go make a runway video for this um, fashion week that's coming in Miami so um, I left that night and I went to try to make that video but unfortunately I had to do it um, Monday morning because of lighting and everything else and my computer my MacBook was totally fine I have it on this box um, I had it on top of this box and I closed it and I left so I'll add like a few pictures so you guys can have an idea of what I'm talking about so I when I came back that night I was super tired so I just got to change my clothes change everything and I just literally got ready for bed and although I wanted to update and post it I didn't do that because of how tired I was so I just got ready for bed early in the morning I woke up because I wanted to get everything edited and post it so when I woke up um, I picked up my MacBook and at, it seemed at that second it seemed like um, there was water on the MacBook so um, it was on the bottom of the MacBook I have my MacBook right here so it was on the bottom of the MacBook and I quickly went and I wiped it off I was like oh my god I wonder what happened to it so I quickly went and I wiped it off and everything and I'm like how did that even happen you know what I mean 
so I opened it up just to make sure that everything was okay and again I'll add like pictures so you guys can have an idea of what I'm talking about and I I was shocked because the whole inside of it was wet and again and at the moment, it seemed like what what is what's water. So at that moment, I thought it was, you know, water. You know, somebody spilled something in there. And I was like, oh, my God, I was super shocked. I was like, who did this? I was going around. I was like, who did this? You know, um, so I wiped it off and everything. And before I actually wiped it off, the smell finally hit me. And I was like, this is not water. This is pee somebody peed on my computer so I wiped it off um and someone else put it on the they flipped it over so all the water can be drained down and stuff and I I was upset because somebody literally opened it peed on it and then closed it which was on purpose I mean it, it was intentional and I was so hurt they all something else also happened to my first computer I remembered one time I came and then it was all messed up my fork stuff was messed up and the mouse wasn't working or anything like that so that's when I started using my MacBook this is a brand new my MacBook I just bought it in November there's nothing wrong with it and it also seemed like somebody hit it because there's a mark right here and I cannot turn it on at all. I did make an appointment with Apple for Friday and I know they're probably not going to be able to do anything. And it doesn't seem like anybody's going to give me the money back for the MacBook. And this was... I, I was... I was just so upset so I didn't want to make any videos while I was upset because I mean the vibe would come off you know wrong or something like that but it's just it really hurts me that somebody would do something like that intentionally you know and it was intentional because the there was nothing wrong the front the top of it was fine there was nothing wrong with it somebody just literally opened the MacBook peed on it and then closed it and then left it there and the fact that when I came that night I didn't even um take the computer or anything because I mean who would have thought you know some someone would do something like that it literally went overnight and pee um yeah I yeah I I was literally speechless and I just had this moment where I I just felt so angry so I I didn't do anything for um I didn't do any vlogs or anything like that it's just that I, I'm so speechless but I will try to move past this and yeah I will have to try to move past this and I don't know honestly it's just it was it was just hurtful um I don't know if you guys know what I'm feeling you know what I meant by it was just hurtful because you know you invest in your own stuff you work for it and for somebody to destroy your things it's just it's not right not only destroy your things but destroy you um as a person and try to hurt you it's it's just to me it's that's not okay i mean i don't know who did it um deep down in my heart i really don't know who did it it could have been anyone honestly it's a, you know, it can be a he say, you know, oh, he did it, oh, she did it, or this and that. But deep down inside, I don't know who did it. It could have been anyone, honestly. So, um, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I just, yeah. So, I'm going to try to continue. Um, I will try to find another software or another computer to try to 
upload um, the vlogs and everything else and continue doing what I'm doing. Something like that can change anybody, you know, to, you know, because hurt people hurt people, but I'm just gonna try to move past this and, you know, lighten up the mood a bit. Really it for this video. Um, guys, have a wonderful day. If you're watching at night, have a wonderful night. Um, it's a new year. Try to leave everything bad that happens in 2018, you know, we're just catching bags all 2019, being inspired, you know, growing and, you know, being a better version of ourselves. So, um, like and subscribe and I will see you guys.